So, uh, good morning. Today is Valentine's Day 2021, and I didn't take a shower, so I'm wearing my grand my late grandfather's cap, so this video is an ode to grandfather. Um, but last week, I had a special treat. You can still find silver coins in vending machines. It's a lot rarer than before, but to my surprise, um, out of the vending machine came this, a 1959 silver quarter. So according to Coinflation website, it's worth $4.95. And I put 25 cents in and got $4.95 back virtually instantly. And that made me feel like very happy. Like I was like very excited, like it was Christmas. And that's gonna tie into this video. So um, think investing makes you, messes with your emotions for sure. So um, I discovered Course Era. And this business model is brilliant. All the videos are free, except that if you want certification, you have to pay $49. That means you can learn all you want for free, but if you want, quote, credit that you can show um, people, then you pay, which is like the best model ever. And another good thing about this is it's a series of five-minute videos. So what they discovered was that if you watch a lot of five-minute videos, so five-minute video, short quiz. That's the best way to learn. It's kind of the YouTube format we discovered, like, you know, me from like 12 years ago. So, yeah, this course era, highly recommend it. I'm taking a course called Learning to Learn, which tells you kind of how your brain works and how you can learn better. And watching this video made me think about silver investing and everything else. This video talks about your brain's reward mechanisms. So our brain has reward mechanisms. For example... When I got this silver quarter, I got this rush, right? I was an unexpected reward in dopamine in your brain. I'm like, woo, it was really great. Um, and speaking of which, silver is at 27.35 um, right now, um, going up nice and slowly. So what's happening with silver is that it's been going up steadily and you get a small reward. You also get small, quote, punishments like this, but I think that right now, the um, the mental stability of people in the supermarket is very stable because it's going up steadily in a little bit and your, your emotions, I think, are in check. When silver went up very quickly, when it went to 45 sort of quickly, like you saw my videos, I was like manic. I was like, my reward mechanism was really out of whack. I was getting huge rewards rather quickly and my brain was going... Brrr! You know, I, I was so excited and so everybody else felt the mania. There's a buzz. You feel buzzed when something's going up very quickly because think about it. Um, when you put money in silver, how many hours of hard work would you have to put in to buy, you know, your silver? Probably a lot of ha hard hours. So think about all the hard work you put in. And if silver doubles, you basically just got double your labor for free. The other way too, imagine if you bought silver at 45 and it goes to 15. How many hours of hard work did you just throw out the window? These things have a real impact on your brain. The reward mechanism in your brain gets really thrown out of whack. Um, I think that's why these Wall Street people are so crazy because they're, they're so out of whack. I mean, the reward mechanism is so out of whack. Making millions or even billions suddenly, right? What did you do? I mean, your, 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 your brain is wired for you to have rewards, work reward, work reward. When you get tons and tons of rewards, right? That doesn't correspond to the work. It really messes with your, your pleasure center, your um, reward center and vice versa. If you put a lot of money in something that crashes, your sense of reality is just out the window. Actually, so you lose reality when you put something in. Like for me, going from 25 cents to 4.95 quickly, that was that was a big reward very quickly, but I was still in reality because it was like one coin. Imagine if like I had found, you know, several tons of these quarters and became a multimillionaire over I'd be like like people who in the lottery, a lot of them kind of go off the rails because reward mechanism. So I'm going to sum up here with something in the market that 
I'm not in, something called Dogecoin. So this is an example of something that's way out of whack. So uh, two guys, it took them three hours to make Dogecoin, okay? Two guys, it took them three hours. Several years ago, was it 2013? One of the creators sold all of his Dogecoins for a used Honda Civic, right? He got laid off. So from her perspective, wait, me and my buddy spent three hours and I can convert that three hours into a used Honda Civic. Great deal. For most people, that's a deal you'll never get three hours of labor for a, uh, a, a, a functional vehicle. However, now those Dogecoins are valued, or last week they were valued as much as Dunkin' Donuts chain, now called Dunkin'. So if you live in New England, in every city, on every corner, there is a Dunkin' Donuts or Dunkin'. So think about how much real estate they, that company has. Think about how much labor went into building those buildings, how much energy and labor went into building all those buildings. Think about how many hours the, 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 the employees work at these things. Think of all the coffee, because Dunkin' is actually a coffee shop that sells donuts on the side. The coffee is their, is their, is their flagship product and their, their profit center. Think about that. And think about that the Dogecoin and this were worth the same last week. That is complete insanity. That is something that the reward mechanism is so out of whack. Like I'm seeing uh, celebrities, rock, rap stars, and now even um, tech billionaires pumping, um, pumping these cryptos. And how, so think about that. Um, how much time went into this and what is it worth? Is that going to mess with your reward system? So... Um, yeah, think about it and think about the, uh, the people who are feeling that sense of heightened mania, like that's, that's your brain's reality. Nothing that I say can change that because they're in a reality where you can put three hours in and a few years later, it's worth as much as, is 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 a, um, a company with real assets. Like you can't reach those people. You just simply can't like you, you were left in the dust. So you're jealous that you didn't buy a Dogecoin. You're, you're, you know, until the thing crashes, then what happens is they come back in reality, but it's a very um, dark and depressed reality because what happened was they had everything in their grasp and it fell. And that feeling is just so awful. So imagine when silver, if you were in from like up and down, like how that felt, the mania and the, the, um, the awful sick feeling when it crashed, imagine that something like these cryptos when that happens. So, um, and it also depends when you entered the market, like someone who, who, who entered like at $200, that thing can crash a lot before they feel that feeling of despair. So, someone who bought in at 10,000, if it goes to 50 and goes to 1,000, those people are feeling a lot more despair than those who got in earlier. So when you got into a market, determines your level of despair. If someone got in at a dollar for Bitcoin, that thing can crash a lot before they feel their despair. So just realize that everybody in the market is not emotionally the same. It depends on where, when you got in. And so thanks and be well. But I just want to say is um, there's going to be a lot of messing with the heads of people who are in markets where these things go way up and down. So thanks and be well. Stop it. Turn off.